Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a nether portal banner, and also how to make a villager or any mob talk. So first, the this banner. I have it saved somewhere in one of my hot bars. Oh, um, might have deleted it. So, but now I have a small nether portal thing. So first, you're going to want to have to get a purple banner a purple banner then some magenta dye and some purple dye and a loom if you're in survival mode you'll have to make these yourself and once you get them place down the loom open it up Pur the purple banner in with magenta dye and go for this stripe pattern thing or magenta pally now you put it back in you go for the purple you put the purple in here and go with the brick now it has like c's and i's on it put it back in and for this part, you'll need black dye, but you only need one black dye. The magenta, you need two. Purple, you need one. Or, I don't know how much magenta or purple you need, because I'm doing it in create mode. So put the purple banner back in with the black dye. Now, do the, select the outline. And, or black border and now you have this and you can rename it in an anvil to nether to small nether portal or something like that and both of these designs are a little different just my design I prefer this one because it looks like a mini swirl like the nether portals have now if i get this for the first command block you want a repeating always active command block that has e execute at at e curve type equals minecraft villager bottom comma villager Bottom, oh, no. uh, bottom comma limit equals one. Bottom comma sort equals nearest. And then I'm going to curve back. If entity ne nearest player or at P, curve distance equals dot dot one curve back so basically what that does is it executes at the villager if one villager to be perfect and and it's the nearest villager to this command block if the and if entity of yourself is inside of the villager if you want it to change to anything else just change the villager to something else now take another repeating command block make sure it is conditional uh, and put say go rob the bank or no actually just say whatever you want okay just say and then you can write whatever you want there uh once you finish 
that command block, which is a bit easier. Place down the talk three command block, which is execute at at e curve type equals Minecraft villager curve back run TP nearest player top V top V top V one and whoop I spawned in a villager that was incorrect Uh, sorry about that. Uh, instead of one, I actually think it's best to do two. So I'm going to pick that command block up. Now, once you have all those and they're all, all, and the two chain ones, the two chain ones are conditional. You'll want to summon in a villager with or whatever mob you used with no AI. Also, if there's anything in the command block that says to like a certain mob, then I will try, then you can just change it to whatever you want, okay? But you might need to change the distance if it has a bigger hitbox. So now, You'll want to summon in a villager with no AI. For that, you can do slash summon. Minecraft vi villager, or just villager. Where, exactly where you are, so squiggle, 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 or squiggle, space, squiggle, space, squiggle. Then, the curly curve thing then no with a capital n a i all capital colon one b and then curve back for that for that with the same type now if you enter that in it you'll have a villager here and if you walk into it, it will, it, it will tell, it will say whatever you put in the second command block and then teleport you a few blocks in front of it. So it looks like you're actually talking to it. So, it, so yeah, it takes three command blocks. And I hope this was helpful for any of the future maps you might be making if it is please leave a like or if it helped you on anything if you you and if you'd like to please subscribe it would help me out a lot i'm trying to get 30 subscribers and so i hope you like and goodbye